bills up in the kitchen cooking, yeah. Hello, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to Let's Be Honest Podcast. This is your host, Demetria, and as usual, I want to start with gratitude. I want to say thank you. Thank you once again for tuning in to the podcast. Listen, guys, we are almost up to a thousand streams. Oh, your girl is on cloud nine right now so thank you guys for that and um so that to me is a huge accomplishment because I have not been as consistent as I have wanted to be so in order to get to that number um it's just phenomenal and I thank y'all I just really do thank you guys um I have listeners everywhere from Arkansas to Texas to um, Atlanta Um, I've even had some listeners from Alaska yeah Um, so from all over and um, I just want to say yeah New York Um, so I just want to say thank y'all I am so appreciative and just so overwhelmed with gratitude uh, right now that I didn't want to lose this feeling so I was like you know what I'm just gonna just shoot from the hip today and um, we'll see how it turns out. Y'all, I didn't even take any notes for this podcast today. So <laughs> so um, we're, we're raw and we're uncut today. And I'm flying solo. Yeah. So, all right, y'all. Let's, let's uh, jump into it. Okay. So, um. This, you know, this this just popped up in my head and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to record and we're just going to take it from here. Um, so I wanted to do this podcast and this subject and the subject that I'm talking about today is, are you living out your dreams? And what does that look like for you? You know, and because So many of us are just going through life. And I always say us because I have been in these places before in my life. I have worn these shoes (laughs) many times before. And um, so a lot of us are going through life and we're just existing. And so we're not really living up to our potential Um, what it is that that we could be or the things we want to be in life. And um, so, yeah, I've been there before. Um, And and, and some of us are, are doing this and it's a subconscious thing. Like we don't even know it. You know, we're just going through life or going through our phases and our seasons and all that stuff. And we don't even know that we're just existing and that there's so much more out there, you know? So I want to help you guys out a little bit and share my thought process on this and how I got to be this point to this point, because it, more so in my thinking, because that is really where the key is for you to live out your dreams or to live this dream life, you know? And, um, it is very possible to do that. It is very possible to to live out your dreams. It it, it really is. Um, but it, it starts with how your mind, how you think about and perceive different things in the world and people and experiences and all that stuff. And so you have to get to that point where you make those connections. And so I talk about these connections all the time because for me, these this is what was key to me. And so, again, I don't proclaim to be like this, this um, professional um, behavior health specialist <laughs> or anything like that. I am just talking about my own personal experiences and how these things changed my life. OK, so 
when I was like 26 or 27, there's no way that you could have ever told me that I was going to be right here today. Like I would be like, nah, <laughs> who me? Oh, no, nah. you know, and being here today, not just um, in a term in, in a in a sense of um, the um, physical things or the material things that that have been re- acquired. But just in the, the thought process of how I think about things and how I'm able to navigate through life. And so, yeah, it, 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 it was a process. And for me, it was pretty grueling because I was so stubborn. I was like so stubborn and, and just set uh, on doing things a certain way or things are supposed to be this way or you know, very closed minded thinking in, in tunnel vision and, and all that stuff. So I was basically creating these barriers and in my own way of being able to see beyond my circumstance. Right. So I'm saying it to say, if you if, if you're a person that you already know what you're doing, you're living out your dream and life is great and all that. And it's, this this probably ain't for you. You know what I'm saying? But if you are stuck or if you are thinking, you know, damn, I'm <laughs> I'm almost 50 and I haven't done this or I don't know what to do or what is my purpose or this can't be life or you're just feeling like something is missing there. I want to encourage you to. Stop where you are and take a moment to look around, like take stock of where you are right now. Where do I where am I living? How is my financial situation? How is my family? How are her? What's what? What are my friends? My social life like? I mean, where am I mentally? Am I healthy mentally, emotionally healthy? Um, really take stock of where you are at this moment. Okay. And when you stop and take that time to self reflect, also take account of what it took to get where you are. Okay. Whether that's good or bad, I don't know where you are in, in your journey. Um, but you do, you know where you are in this journey, you know, whether or not you think you should be further ahead or whether you're right on track or if there's some things you can do differently. But I think it's important to self reflect and say, if you're not where you want to be, if you're not close to living out your dreams, if you're not doing those things, then what decisions did I do that got me here? Okay. And if you are at the point where you're getting close to, you know, living out your dreams or you're, you're doing it, you're like, you're doing it, then take credit for the things that you've done to get you to this point. See, it's, it's extremely important to make these connections, guys, you have to make a connection with what you envision your life to be the things you want in your life, your goals um, that you want. Um, you you have it. It's really hard for me to explain, you know, because when you start living out your dreams, y'all, it is a profound feeling, and. It's hard for me to explain this feeling. I'm getting so emotional. It's hard for me to explain. It's just so much more to life. And when you don't have that connection to to life, you take so much for granted. When you do start walking into making these connections and really being in tune with what's going on with you and what's going on around you and how you're moving through life, you realize how much you took for granted. And it's kind of bittersweet because you get to a point where you're like, damn, 
I only got so much life to live and you want to make up for all of the time <laughs> that you you want to make up and catch up from all of the time that you took for granted and all of the situations you took for granted. You you think about all the people you took for granted, you you know, and all of the 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 decisions you made that you could have did differently. And that's not to say that you're living in the past because you can't live in you can't live your dreams and live in the past. You just cannot. I mean, the, the two does not exist, but it just makes you have this surreal thought like, damn, you know, I, I, I really play with that time like that. And then when you realize how precious your time is. And that you only have a limited time that's not even guaranteed to you. Then it's kind of like, damn, you want to do everything. <laughs> you just want to make everything right with the world, you know. And so it's, it's, it's really a profound feeling to be able to move into that space. Because when you get in that space, you're so protective of your dreams. You're so protective of the things that you va- that you value, and your mental health, your peace, uh, your relationships. You start to value those more, and you just realize how fulfilling life really can be, and that it is. And before you made those connections, if you were anything like me. You were just going through life like subconsciously and existing. And I thought life was just what it was. But at that point, before making my connections, it was like, I thought that's what life was supposed to be. But really, life was just I was just um, me living out the consequences of my decisions which were hasty decisions and things that weren't very calculated and and that kind of thing. And, yeah, some good came out of those things and all that. And, you know, we made adjustments and stuff like that. But it it was a good life, but it wasn't a fulfilling life. It wasn't a purposeful life. It was just my purpose was just getting up, going to work, taking care of the kids and paying bills. And that was it. I didn't think about what made me happy. I didn't think about the emotional well-being of my children I, and, and how my decisions affect my children emotionally and and how important this environment is for for them and for me, because it was just a subconscious, you know, like. You just hit play every morning. You get up and hit play and you play out your day. Whereas now my day is more intentional. It's it's more intentional. I'm I'm always looking for opportunity to give back. I'm always looking for opportunity um, to meet new people and to learn something different every day and to have new experiences in my day um, that help me grow. And I want to grow like it's it's crazy because it's just like you 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 want you have this this desire in you to accomplish so much or to do these things or and, and it's like this it's like a fire that that you need to put out <laughs> when you want to and you start living out your dreams and guys living out your dreams are just. How do you get to that? You have to just take time. And for some, I know it's not going to be an overnight thought. Like you you may have to take a minute or two to really self-reflect and, and really just think about what it is that you want. What are your dreams? You know, um, you know, they can be really deep or it can be surface level or whatever it is. You know, just just live out. You know, you want the the house and, and the picket fence and then the you know what whatever it is. I don't know, but what I do know is I'm living out my dreams, y'all. Like, and it's like surreal. It and it's a great feeling. I'm not saying that every day is the stars and the moon and all that because I got to fight for this shit. I'm for real. Like I have to fight for this and um, it takes commitment. It does. It it takes commitment 
to be able to live out these dreams and to make the things that I want reality, you know, but it's easier when I have a plan or my intentions are set on what it is that I want to do, you know, and nine times out of 10, if you are striving and committed to achieving your dreams, you will succeed. You will. If you move towards those dreams that you want and you you remain true to yourself. Now that. Ah, oh, my goodness. Being true to yourself. That in itself is living out a dream because how many of us are not living in a truthful state of who we are? You know, because we're trying to appease other people. We're trying to be the part, play the part. You know, we want to keep certain things together. So um, we're not being true to ourselves and the the things that we want and the things that we enjoy in life. You know, so that in itself is, is important to be able to really be authentic in who you are. And the things that you want and the things that you enjoy doing and move out of the past. You can't stay in the past. You got to move out. You got to move away from that. Like you can't be stuck on yesterday's bad decisions. You know, you do have to learn from them and then move forward. But you have to stay focused on your focus. You know, like get a focus and harm in on that focus and y'all, you know, you're going to lose some people along the way. I'm going to be real honest with you. <laughs> you're going to lose some people along the way. But my prayer has always been for God to place people in my life that that pour into me and that I share the same core values with and that I can pour into them also, you know, And um, and I've been really, really fortunate. I've been really blessed to have good people in my life, you know, from family to friends and things like that Um, at home. I've been really fortunate to have that. And so I know that a lot of people don't have that. And this is where you you have to stay focused and committed to what your dreams are. You know, and start doing things that are going to inspire you to live out those dreams. You know, so for me, living out my dreams is like me actively doing something that is contributing to my overall success of my ultimate goals. Okay. Um, and I always try to put myself in situations that spark my interest and inspire me and give me a little taste of what it is that I want, you know, um, doing a little extra, <laughs> You know, that gives me this this feeling of putting me into this aura of of greatness, you know, of uh, and, and pushing and in and, and doing that, it it makes me uncomfortable and it pushes me to adjust and to be able to learn how to engage and do different things with different people in different environments. But hey, you know, that that's what it's all about. I can remember I had a job and a really good friend of mine gave me a job and um, well, he didn't give me the job because I was a good good friend. He gave me a job because he knew I could do the job. Let's say that. (laughs) And so but anyway, um, he offered me a salary that was higher than um, I had ever made. Okay. And so I I made decent money, but, you know, hey, this person saw something in me 
And he was like, hey, I'm going to pay her for her experience and this and other. I know she can come in and do the job. And so I took the job. It was a good job. He was a phenomenal boss and much love for him to this day. He knows who he is. And um, and so I've always been appreciative. And this is someone that I've had a good relationship with and in in. I value and respect as far as business and um, outside of work and as well as work. But it was a good job. It really was. But I still had things that I wanted to do. Like it, at, at this point, it was like this was it for me. There was no room for growth. There was no room for uh, additional opportunity. Um, at least I didn't see it at at the time. And so there was another opportunity that had come up um, that was going to open a door for me to get to the next level as far as my career. And so um, I, and so I've been in healthcare now almost 30 years. OK, but so this was going to get me to the next level or or provide an opportunity for me to do that. And so. Um, I had turned this other job down like multiple times, but they were, you know, really adamant about, you know, bringing me over, get me on the team. And one thing that we know in healthcare, especially on the administration side of things, is that experience outweighs anything. And so having um, having had so many years of experience, of course, you know, um, people want that. So anyway, um. I took the job, but it was really hard. And, I'm, and I'm, I'm making a point here. It was really hard because here it is, this guy that I have much respect for. And um, and it's one of my dearest friends. And I was I was very comfortable. I was secure and I was comfortable. And my husband was like, are you sure you want to leave? Because, you know, he he knows I have ooh, I have been through some horrible bosses, you know, and I finally got to a place where, you know, I was comfortable. I was good. And I said, babe, I can't get to the next level being comfortable. I can't. I, I love it here. But. It's, it's more I, I, I'll never know the extent of what I could do or what I can accomplish if I sit in one spot. I, I got to give it a try. I got to give it a go. And so I gave it a go and it was terrible. <laughs> oh, it was it, no, I'm going to say it's terrible, but it was not the best environment or whatever. But it led me to where I am today. OK, um, and so that was the catalyst that I needed to get me to the next level, to get me to the next level, to get me to where I am. So I'm saying that to say some of y'all are comfortable where you are. And if you cool with that, I'm cool with that. If that's if, if, if that's where you want to be. But if you want to live out your dreams, y'all, you can't you, you can't be scared. You got to take risk, you know, and you got to trust. You got to trust in, in your abilities um, to to be successful in whatever it is that you're doing. And you got to be 10 toes down, you know, because I had to adjust and, and move around and do some things and all that kind of stuff. But again, you know, and I'm still not where my this is not my end game. You know what I'm saying? Like I still have a ways to go because I'm constantly setting the bar and moving the goalposts to adjust to what my dreams and aspirations are as far as my accomplishments and what I want to do. So to me. I'm on that path and that's living out my dreams because I'm doing the things I want to do. If I say I want to go do a paint class or I want to catch a flight and go here, I'm doing it. I am I am doing it. And so my dreams are mine. 
it doesn't have to be extravagant and you know keeping up with someone else that they flying across the country and all that and you want it baby if you ain't got it like that you ain't got it like that I'm, I'm sorry now I'm not saying you can't have it like that but I'm saying that your dreams can be as big and as wild and as, 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 as imaginative as you want them to be if you're prepared to do the work and to get to the bag, you know. Um, and so, again, <laughs> I was talking to this friend of mine, same same guy, and he texted and we were talking about something else. And he said, uh, bigger goals, bigger bag and bigger happiness. And you know what? That made my heart smile. It did. And I was like, hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's it. You know, focus on your focus. And, you know, it's got to be by any means necessary. You know, I'm not saying you steamroll over people and and treat people crazy and all that. You got to be a good steward over what you have. You have to be a good steward and take care of the things that take care of you. You must do that. Okay. Um, but you also have to understand that everybody on this path to living out your dreams and getting to your final destination of whatever it is that you want to accomplish and do, everybody is not going to be able to go with you. They ain't. I, and, you know, I, <laughs> I can say it in no more terms than my Memphis voice. Everybody is not going to be able to go with you and stop trying to drag people with you. I had to learn it because I was like, oh, I just want to hold hands and sing Kumbaya and I want everybody to do this. Baby, no, because people will use you. They will. Um, They're going to talk about you. You know, they, you're going to have that, but they will abuse their relationships and in in the privilege that you give them and I had to learn like no you know what I'm saying I you know and if you notice if you pull back from some of these people you would notice that they're not coming forward (laughs) the only reason that you guys were being connected or whatever is because you were the one pulling and tugging on them to bring them along with you They don't even care. They're not into your business. They're not into they're not supporting your your business. They're not supporting your your desires to go to school. They're not supporting your your work. They're not supporting anything that you're doing. It's a smoke signal. And you you will learn that. On that journey to living out your dreams. Sometimes it can be really lonely, you know, and you just have to, you know, be have a um, a discernment about the people that you keep, the company that you keep um, when you're moving in that direction and find people that are on the same path that you're on, you know, um, and be open, be open minded, you know, be careful, be very careful, you know, because at this this point in age, you know, there's a lot of, of people out there that um, can be envious and in, in different things of, of what you're doing. And and, you know, and some people actually think like if they don't support you, that you're going to fail, you know, and that's only true if you allow their lack of support to cause you to fail, like to, you know, like, come on. You know what I'm saying? Like you got to believe in yourself to to achieve the things that you want to achieve. And if if your achievement is, you know, to own your first home by age of 30 or, or by the age of 40 or 50. I, hell, I don't know what it is, but what I'm saying to you is whatever it is that you want to do that fits into what you envision your life to be, you have to really focus in on that and you have to move in that direction and you cannot take everybody with you you know there's going to be some people that 
they're, they're going to show you that they're with you. And you're going to know that these people are solid. Like this, these, these people are solid. You know, I listen, y'all. I'm just I am just so blessed. And, and I hope that you guys are, too, with good people and that you will, you know, people that see things in me that I had not seen in myself, you know, and and I, I always want to make these people proud. Like, I just want to want people to that support me and people that pour into me to know that if there was ever something that they did right it was them pouring into me like you you you, I, you know I always want to make them proud you know um and and so and in return I'm always pouring into people that I see things in I look for that I look for opportunity to uplift I look for opportunity to support and things like that because I know how important that was for me to have someone um to to give me a kind word to encourage me and that type of thing and it goes a long way it really does so you know that exchange of gratitude it's really great but so back to what I'm saying living out your dreams what does that look like for you let me give you some homework I want you to take some time and I know some of y'all don't really have like spare time. If, if you're anything like me, finding some time can be a challenge, um, but it's necessary. It really is necessary. Take a moment, if even if it's in the car, driving to work or home from work, cut the radio off, cut the radio off, cut everything off and really get in tune with your thoughts. And think about what is it that I want? What if if, if I could have the perfect life or if I could just take a magazine and cut out the things that I want in my life and put them on on a poster board, what would they be? What would those things be? What would what would it include? What would that feeling be like? You know, make a connection with life make a connection to your goals make that connection to living out or living the life that you desire you know and you and and really make you know again I talk about these connections because guys you have to connect with it once you do that I'm telling you your your Things that you want to accomplish in life, these dreams and these goals, they will come become reality because you're going to have this fire in your stomach that you cannot put out until you take care of what you need to take care of. Y'all, I can't really explain it to you, but there's like a fire that I got to put out. And the only way I can do it is to accomplish the goals that I want to accomplish. That's it. And when you connect with that and you really get in tune with understanding that it's life is is it's filled with so much more than just subconsciously existing. You know, it's so much to it. And once you make that connection to that, oh man. Ah, oh, y'all. Listen. Give it a chance. Give it a chance. Give you a chance. Give yourself a chance. Okay. That to stop stop getting on this merry-go-round. It's time to woman up. It's time to man up. It's time for us to just start living this life that we are destined to have full of purpose, full of abundance, you know, and to see our dreams come true. And You know, that's what it's about, y'all. It's all about creating memories. It's about your legacy. What are you leaving behind? What do you want people to say about you? What things do you want to accomplish in your life? You know, and your dreams and aspirations are really not that far away. The only distance is between you, 
your dream and making that connection to it. Okay, so that's it for me, y'all. That That's it. I just had to get that off. You know what I'm saying? I had to get that off. So listen, I love y'all. I want to hear from you. If you have um, you have a Dear D letter you want to send to me, um, you want to just send me words of encouragement or if you just want to tell me, hey, I hated that episode, whatever. You can do it at Let's Be Honest Podcast at Yahoo.com. I answer all my emails. And if you got a subject you want to hear more of, you want us to talk about it, you you know, whatever, you know, just just send me something. If you have a business, you want me to share your business, I'm going to be getting into that. Um, a lot of changes coming up with the podcast. We're, we're going to be going to another level and all that stuff. But until then, y'all, remember to be honest and true to the one person who matters the most and that's you bye